Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to my Rocket Man movie review. Watch this movie this past weekend and uh, it's directed by Dexter Fletcher and Fletcher and stars Taron Egerton and Jamie Bell. Uh, also uh, Bryce Dallas Howard is in this and Richard Madden. Um, so this movie is, is a musical biopic about Elton John. Um, Elton John, in my opinion, is one of the most talented singers out there. Does not use autotune like a bunch of these stupid... Uh, you know, millennial generation artists. Yeah, some of them can sing. Why Why can't you perform live? In my opinion. Uh, Jamie Bell was really good in this as his best friend. And Taron Egerton, I think, is going to get nominated for an Academy Award for playing Elton John. Um, if I had to describe this movie in one word, eh, one hyphenated word, it would be well done. Um, on the Star Strider scale, I give this movie a 69. Uh, the problem with this is uh, th this guy... This guy, Dexter Fletcher, Fletcher, he was a producer on Bohemian Rhapsody. And I'm beginning to see, like, right after that, then they did this Netflix movie about Motley Crue. And it's like, okay, I don't know why Hollywood is so, like, once you have a hit with one kind of thing, everybody goes and starts to copy it and do whatever. It just, it just makes me think that Hollywood... Um, I, I can see the constant battle between business and art. It's it's both, really, right? Um, Richard Madden was good. Bryce Dallas Howard, I feel, she was a bit miscast. I think she's too young. I, I almost feel like she's only a couple years re uh, removed from Taron Egerton. I could be wrong, though. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Jamie Bell gets, supporting, gets a supporting actor nomination. Um... It, 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 it's good. Again, a 69 is a good score. It's like a B on my scale. Um, if you're a fan of Elton John, you're going to like it. I had a good time. I enjoyed his music. And I'm sure, much like with Bohemian Rhapsody, um, his music sales went up the weekend that this opened. I don't know that they're going to nominate this for Best Picture. I don't think it is in the conversations, really. Taron Edgerton did a good job. But again, it's only the beginning of the summer. So... Uh, Many things can happen between now and the end of the year. So, again, Elton John fan, go see this. If you're not a big moviegoer, you can probably skip it. I found it enjoyable. It, it is different from Bohemian Rhapsody in the fact that this is more of a musical. They'll break into song and dance. The characters are actually singing and dancing. Um, I was a little disappointed they didn't go into the Disney era when he came back with that. They didn't do Candle in the Wind. They didn't do Circle of Life. They didn't do Can You Feel the Love Tonight. I was like, oh, come on, man. So I think the they stop at uh, I'm Still Standing is sort of the last one. And the thing also, again, with a lot of these biopics is they tend to be like, okay, it's a, you know, nobody kid. They're, they got great talent. They make it. They get a drug problem. They screw up their relationship. Okay, then they meet their next wife or, what, or next spouse, whatever. They get over their drug addiction in the end. I mean, so many, like, from Walk the Line, this one's like that, Bohemian Rhapsody, very formulaic, uh, but it was still well done. Um, however, I almost feel like you get three. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I don't know. If I see another one of these, I'm really going to start to get, like, okay, enough with the musical biopics. I do like musical biopics. I, I Music played a huge role in my life. Most of my closest personal friends have all been through playing in band, uh, being in a band with them. Um, so I've got a soft spot for musicians. At one point, I would have considered myself a musician. Uh, playing music was the, the, it was everything to me. Um, at this point, I've kind of abandoned it. You know, I'm older. It's just it's just time to give it, hang it up. Um, I'm pursuing other interests at this point, like my writing. Uh, but anyway, um, did you guys see it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know. Leave your comments below. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you later. Okay, bye.